The weather is ever changing. Just when we think we've figured it out, it throws us for a loop, throws a curveball, and leaves us reeling. And the impacts of the weather can be extremely profound. Since 1980, we've had over 300 weather or climate related disasters. Uh, we've lost over 15,000 lives and it's totaled up to 2.3 trillion in accumulated damages. These trends are increasing over time. This is a real uh, challenge, is a grand challenge for our society. At CIRA, where we fit into this problem is really the interface between applied research and basic research. We try to connect the two. CIRA is a cooperative institute for research in the atmosphere. Um, we are part of Colorado State University, but we are also uh, in cooperation with NOAA, and all of our work is toward NOAA's mission goals. From thunderstorms to hurricanes, from fires to floods, from heat waves to blizzards, this is a major problem that we try to address through modeling, through satellite observations, and through working with forecasters to help inform uh, them and decision makers on what to do next. We do quite a bit of a development for forecast applications. In my particular role, I'm involved in the Tropical Cyclone Research Group. So we'll, we'll develop uh, methods to help forecast, say where the storm is gonna go more accurately, or how strong it's gonna be when it gets there. And uh, a new application that we're working on is the idea of using artificial intelligence to try to uh, make those forecasts better. It, it's really kind of a breakthrough when it comes to be able to combine all that data and, and to get the most relevant uh, information uh, for the forecasters to use. At CIRA, we try to bring together the latest and greatest technology, the latest techniques to uh, benefit end users. And we cross different agency barriers. We can think of one example being the aviation industry. Um, we take satellite data to help learn about clouds and then use that information for um, informing the Aviation Weather Center about the three-dimensional distribution of clouds. This is a, uh, a technique that we've developed at CIRA, uh, which has far-reaching applications beyond aviation to basic science uh, and understanding the uh, distribution of clouds worldwide. So the research that I do concerns data assimilation, and that's how we use environmental observation data to make the best initial conditions for a numerical weather prediction forecast model. So one data type that I've looked at is satellite observations of lightning, and we can use the satellite observations of lightning to see where storms are in a different way than we can with radar. Um, the lightning data really pinpoints the center of the storm, where most of the activity is, and where the intense energy of the storm is, even if that's not where the rain is heaviest. With the new sensors that we get to work with at CIRA, we often come across new things that we haven't seen before. Opportunities to discover something, opportunities to learn. One of those examples is marine bioluminescence, something we've been after from satellites for decades. Finally, with the new technology, we can confirm now that we can see these marine bioluminescent phenomena called milky seas. One of the unique capabilities that CIRA has is to do directed research with partner agencies like NOAA, NASA, the Department of Defense, uh, the National Park Service, uh, and guide the academic research that we do at Colorado State University to focus on more operational aspects. Uh, we also bring a lot of the abilities of academia to government agencies that maybe don't have the resources to look at things like diversity uh, or outreach or education. And those are capabilities that we bring as CIRA to our partners that help them as much as they help us. Even stand a chance against all of these uh, high stake odds, we need to connect. And that's what CIRA does. We connect across disciplines, across agencies, and even across borders. Uh, so this is an area where, where CIRA uh, makes a profound impact on society. We make the connections between basic research and applied things that help you and I uh, live our lives and safely. NOAA refers to this as the weather ready nation, being ready for anything. Uh, we refer to it as connecting science to society.